Hey, hi folks. Alright. Um, I just want to sort of tell you how you can upgrade this. Um, it's basically just like the, uh, the Thousand Series, the DS Thousand Series Rival Oscilloscopes. You can upgrade them. And this DP832 is no exception. Uh, mine's working at the moment. It's charging a battery. 300 pound battery charger. No, it's good. This is a. Uh, this is my fourth power supply this year, and I would like to say I actually love this power supply. This power supply is fucking awesome. It's very very nice, very very nice, very very controllable. A lot of confidence um, when I'm prattling around doing things. I'm not just going to blow stuff up by sticking the wrong thing in the wrong place. It's great. There's so much control. But let's get back to how you update it. This is a piece of cake, you know, just set the thing spinning. Click on the utility. Go into the next, the next part and there's the option button. And as you can see here, um, I've got everything but the RS-232. I just couldn't be bothered to keep typing in any more numbers to be fair. <laughs> but I'll probably put that in because, you know, it's free. I'm not even sure if I'm going to use these. Uh, the LAN I probably will. Just to take them back out again and then put them back in again. Just to make sure I can because, uh, you know, if this had to go back, I would uninstall these and, and send it back. But anyway, so yeah, so if you want to. You put that in, all you've got to do is basically go to this website. La la. You go there, you get to your serial number. And your serial number, uh, I can't actually remember where this is, it's going to be an easy place. Like system, system info, there we go. So the serial number is in the system info, uh, which is on the main. The main utility, so you click back on utility, uh, system info is there, look, click on there, and there you go. You've got your serial number, so jot that down on the piece of paper, and then you uh, yeah, then you, you, you put your serial number in there, you go down to the options. I've got um, mine's newer version. Of 1.09 so that's what I'm using for the older ones you can use this up to 1.06 uh, but I use that so of course the first one I put in was the accuracy so the F3PT you put it up there where it says AAA options and click generate a private key will come up you don't need to use that but there will be a box a box open about here with your, oh it's like a thousand digits, it's not really, a thousand characters, not really, it's um, I don't know, about 25, something like that. I didn't count them, um, but there's a few there, so when you end up doing a few of them, uh, you know, it's, it's okay, but it's very simple to do, and using this, you know, is, is, is great, it's nice and quick, it is good, so, yeah. And so that's how you can get your updates. Thank you very much, Rigel, who or whoever it is supplies that um, that particular facility because it works very, very well. On my uh, on my scope there, I've done the same thing, except for I just kept it at 50 megahertz and just put the uh, the extra part bits and pieces in because um, 50 megahertz is plenty. And then the memory uh, is shared better in the actual uh, the sample rate. So, fantastic. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I only had it for a couple of days, but I've really enjoyed it. I like this. I like this, this the way I've got this set up. Um, you know, I can go across to these. and I've just got, got it set up so it's black and white in it, so I can see it so clearly. These 
these characters that I thought were these digits that I thought were going to be too small to see clearly absolutely easy the way this is that light's pretty much switched off altogether so um, I don't have anything else coming through until until I switch on uh, as you can see and so I just like the idea of you know, to have it like that it's lovely in the way that highlights up there you know there's lots of other ways you can have this that's, that's a pack of poo this is definitely not quick enough um, if I had a little little amplifier on it that I built myself it's up there, I don't know if you can see it, the lights a bit there you go and it would have been nice if I could have seen it um, get the light nice if I could have seen you know, this moving uh, the same as it does come back uh, the same as you can see all this moving about when it's uh, when it's drawing the power and that's great you know the way it shows you the power in watts and oh I just absolutely adore this power supply absolutely adore it the one I had before it, you know it had no no functions of any use on it whatsoever you had to short the bloody thing out set the constant current you couldn't change that really while you were using it ah oh. There was no, you know, soft on and off switch, so you you could start up with circuits on and not be worried that you know something is going to go on toward. You can always check before you switch it on what's going to be going on. Um, yeah, which is absolutely fantastic. Exactly. The, yeah, this has got more than what I need. More than what I need. I'm sure I'm going to be pretty happy with this for a long time to come. And I'm going to make no mistake about plugging in my high voltage, crazy ass Tesla stuff. That's going to be plugged into this thing. Um, cheap old switch mode, 50 quid, 0 to 30, 0 to 10 amps. And this is going to be for all the, you know, the little amps and radios and bits and pieces that I put together and all the kits that I build. Uh, yeah, really, really chuffed. Absolutely no idea of how chuffed it's been. Driving me nuts the last, uh, the last, you know, the, the, this year, four power supplies this so far. This being number four, and the other three, including this one, which failed at one stage, would only put out five volts. Uh, one had to go back because all the display kept messing up, and I didn't know what I was doing with it. Um, they were a bit snotty, so I got snotty with them and just sent it back out for refund. Uh, the last one, the big one, oh, two of them had died. Two of them had, uh, had not died, sorry, but they'd uh, malfunctioned. And I don't want them, especially as they got no, they got no functionality, they got no safety. Not really, not like this. Fantastic, I'd say, to anybody who's looking to spend to buy a power supply for uh, setting up a little electronics uh, workshop. You're not going to go wrong with this. You're not going to go wrong with it. Um, absolutely lovely. Anyway, so there you go. There's uh, my my thoughts on the power supply after a couple of days and how you can give yourself the higher resolution um, and all the extras courtesy of uh, Riglov. Uh -huh. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.